This is Paul Vreeland, creator of the All-in-One System Rescue Toolkit, and today I'm going to show you how to run diagnostic testing using both the light and the technician versions of the toolkit. So say you have a friend or family member uh, that has a computer problem, and it doesn't seem that critical, but uh, you want to get the baseline diagnostics out of the way, you can give them the light version of the toolkit, and I'm going to run that real quick and show you what the log files look like for diagnostics. The light version takes about two hours to run on most computers. If it's a really, really slow computer, it may take longer. Make sure they run it at the end of the day or when they're not going to be using their computer for a while. If you really want to know what's happening before you recommend this to a friend or family member, you can fire up the technician version, go to the Auto Fix tab, and look at the tasks that are listed in blue. That's exactly what's happening here. It just doesn't pop up the text file results after each test. I find that can be really confusing for non-techies, so I'm trying to keep this light version as easy to use as possible. Unlike a lot of the free quote-unquote utilities out there that will help tune up your computer, my light version actually does a tune-up. It doesn't just tell you there's a bunch of problems, pay us for more money to fix it. I'm going to do my best just to show you how to do the diagnostic tests and not interpret the results. Because interpreting results is dependent upon the technician and level of experience and training and is far beyond the scope of this project. Now that the light version has completed running, there's a new folder here called AIO SRT Logs for technicians and smart friends going forward to further diagnose and troubleshoot the computer. So now I'm going to show you how to run diagnostic testing with the technician version of the toolkit. I'm going to go ahead and open my toolkit CD. And run the AIO SRT application. And the diagnostics are sort of scattered throughout these tabs here, but I'm going to start with Autofix and the Diagnostic Only preset. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Start Autofix. So immediately we pop up with system information. Uh, here we can browse through and look at um, memory, processor, motherboard, that kind of stuff. But uh, I already know what this has, so I'm going to close it. And during the CPU stress test, we will have HW Monitor pop up and Prime95, which does a CPU stress test, uh, also a cooling test to make sure that the processor is being cooled properly. Uh, since this is a virtual machine, we have no thermal sensors available. I'm going to go ahead and close this because I know my machine is properly thermally cooled. This should run for five minutes automatically, close itself, and then uh, continue on. But I'm going to go ahead and force it to close. So immediately it shifted to memory diagnostics and it popped up our memory config, which since this is a virtual machine, it doesn't have access to that information about the physical hardware. But normally this would show your slots and how much RAM is in each slot. And it immediately went to hard drive diagnostics. So this is GSmart Control. It is for reading smart attributes of a hard drive. It immediately goes into a benchmark of the system drive, in this case C. And it'll give you the stats for random and sequential read and write operations. And then System Analyzer pops up, so I'm going to go ahead and agree to that and we'll start running it. Also, while some of these tests are running, I do like to come back here and look at the desktop information. I have some of these set up to turn red, such as the battery. There's no battery here, but um, the battery will turn red, RAM will turn red, the drive will turn red. I have some of these turning red if there's uh, high levels of usage on some of these components. All right, so System Analyzer has completed, and it gives us a little brief overview. Um, a lot of times uh, I use this as just a guideline for what to do with the computer. Um, this is obviously not a, a catch-all for everything, but 
Um, it's pretty good at sort of pointing you in the right direction if you don't know what to do. Next up we have Event Viewer. Next up we have Blue Screen View. Here's the forced blue screen that I've uh, caused. Next up we have Windows Security or Action Center. A lot of times this will give you an idea of what a client's maintenance schedule looks like on the computer. So we'll close that and this just says to hit OK when we're done with Windows Security Center. We are. And then here we have Device Manager. And the system internals auto runs here will tell you what starts up with the computer. And auto fix is completed. Now I am going to reboot because auto fix does schedule a check disk and a Windows memory test. So we're going to go ahead and do those. I always like to reboot after I'm done with diagnostics or done with the computer just to make sure it survives a reboot. I do want to note that the technician version is more hands-on than the light version. You do have to pay attention to the tests, whereas the light version just creates logs. So the computer survives a reboot and we are done with diagnostic testing. So let's say Windows won't stay running long enough or you can't boot into Windows and you need to run diagnostic testing with this toolkit. Uh, here's the toolkit booting in BIOS mode. This is not EFI boot, this is BIOS boot. We can run a memory test here. So I'm going to go ahead and start that and show you what it looks like. And this is Memtest 86 Plus. And I know the memory is good. This is just running in a virtual machine, so I'm going to cancel it. So after you've tested the memory and you determine that the memory is good, you can go to the actual toolkit, boot it up, and do a CPU and thermal load test on it. All right, so now we're going to run a CPU stress test and thermal load test on the machine. If you don't have the temperature sensor down here, you can add it to the panel. And it says negative 273. The applet does not have access to the hardware sensors to show the actual temperature of the machine, but uh, that's where it would be. So now we're going to run the CPU stress test. And it's good to run this for about five minutes just to see if under load the CPU will cause a shutdown. And after you've done memory and CPU testing, you can check the disk with disks here. And we're going to use our virtual disk. You can go up here to the menu. Here you can see the smart attributes and run smart self-testing. This again is in a virtual machine, so we won't be able to access that from here. You can also test the network and internet connection by opening a web browser and seeing if uh, it will connect. That'll tell you that the hardware is working under Ubuntu and there may be a problem with Windows. And this concludes my how to run diagnostics with my all-in-one system rescue toolkit, both inside of Windows using the auto run and outside of Windows using the live CD environment. If you found this video helpful, feel free to like or subscribe. And thank you for continuing to support and share my project.